out of post-election or pre-election violence. And Honorable Speaker, Kenyans being able to get back to their places of work and their businesses and continue with life after voting and having their leaders in place. And I think it's not just something that we commend His Excellency the President and his administration for steering us through. Because I do remember, Mr. Speaker, when we were going through around the country campaigning. His Excellency the President was emphatic that there will be no people throwing stones. There will be no rigging of elections. There will be nobody swearing themselves in. And we shall have a peaceful country after the elections. And I think by God's grace and the gracious people of Kenya, we are able to attain that. Honorable Speaker, I must commend the people of Kenya that we have set in motion a new trajectory where we go into elections, vote in our leaders, and we continue with our lives and expect that those who lose elections accept the results of those elections and move on with life and help those that have won not only to govern but to act in the best interest of Kenya. And that is why even in his address to this House, His Excellency the President was quite clear that he intends to bring legislative agendas to this House that will require a bipartisan approach. Because there is nothing in the plan. And when I talk about the plan, I talk about the uh, manifesto of the Kenya Kwanza Coalition. There is nothing that we put in that plan that was there by mistake. There is nothing we put in the plan that was in the interest of anybody within the Kenya Kwanza Coalition. But everything in the plan and everything in the manifesto and whatever legislative agenda will come to this House from that manifesto is in the best interest of the people of Kenya. And we are here in the 13th Assembly, Honorable Speaker, as representatives of the people of Kenya. And therefore, I want to ask each and every one of us that whatever legislative agenda that comes here from the housing agenda that His Excellency the President uh, spoke about here, and you, if you have listened to His Excellency the President, if you have been watching his actions over the last few days, you can tell that clearly he's very passionate on the housing agenda, he's very passionate, extremely passionate on the universal health coverage agenda, on the social protection and upscaling our savings culture in this country. He spoke uh, very much about that. And more so also on the decriminalization of enterprise and supporting the enterprising young Kenyans and the business community through the Hustler Fund, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I am glad that the President was also very bold. And I remember in his speech, Honorable Speaker, the President was quite dramatic when he said that I have news. Yes, indeed, if I can quote, the President said, I have news. And it is not very good news. Our financial situation is not very good. Honorable Speaker, it is true that this administration has inherited a country whose economy is not working for the interest of Kenyans. We, or the government, the present administration has inherited an economy that was only working for a few people. And the administration has a huge responsibility to make not just the hustler economy, but the economy of the Kenyan people to work for the millions of the Kenyan people rather than work for a few. Honorable Speaker, during the campaign, those of us who campaigned in the, with the Kenya Kwanza Coalition, we spoke at length about state capture. Honorable Speaker, you know, state capture in this country has been so real. And that is what has bedeviled the management of our economy and its affairs. It is state capture that captured the economy. And the economy stopped working for Kenyans and started working for a few people who wielded the instruments of power. Honorable Speaker, it is my prayer, and I am confident that part of the legislative agenda that will be transacted on this floor will be to reverse that state capture of our economy and make our economy work for the millions of Kenyans who voted for each